Alright, hi guys, uh, I just want to make this video very quickly just to show you guys how the new PvP works in this game. So, what do we have? We have submarines and we have anti-submarine ships. So, as you can see, I have my friend over there, Aerozine, he's in the Visby right over there. Hello. And I am in the submarine. I'm sorry, you can say hello again. Hi. <laughs> okay, so he is currently in a Visby, which does not have radar. I, right now, I have my radar mast out, but I cannot detect him. That is simply because he is going too slow for me to pick him up. So if he speeds up, you will start to see him on the map as well, and you will start to see him with the icon. So as you can see, he showed up on the map, Baldo mode, that's him right there. And I can click the icon of the ship, so I can target him just like that. So. That's the basics. You need to have the radar mast out. Let's say I put it down. And the emblem fades away. There you go. So I will now not be able to see him anymore. Not on the map and not by the icon. So you need to have the radar mast out. That's quite important. You can, however, use the periscope and target him like that. So let's dive down. There we go. We're at periscope depth. Let's open up our periscope. And we should be able to target him as well. Oh, yes, there we go. I can press T. Now, how about I select the weapon and a torpedo? There we go. Okay. I'm not gonna fire at him yet. So, you can perfectly see him right there through the periscope. I do not have my radar mast extended. But I can see him over there. Now, there's another way to see him besides the periscope, so now he fades away because the periscope went down. Now I do not have anything equipped. I can press the sonar button right here. Keep in mind, ships do also have this button right here on the bottom right, so if I click this, it turns on the sonar. But like, when you have sonar on, I can detect you without having my sonar on. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. So, so basically, when you have sonar turned off, it acts as passive sonar. And uh, when you have it turned on, it acts as uh, active sonar. Yes, so okay. Like, in theory, if, if you go down under and I turn on sonar, you sh should see me. There we go. And I'm now at periscope depth. Yes. I'm just going to open up the periscope just so we can see a little bit clear. I'm not going to target him, so I'm not going to press T. I mean, I, so, I, I, yeah. Do you have active sonar on right now? Sonar oh, on. yeah, there you go. Now I can target you, just like that. Okay, so if the other person in the ship has active sonar on, we can target them and their stealth is gone. However, we cannot target them with our sonar. So it basically works like active and passive sonar. When yes. When you have uh, sonar turned off, it acts as passive, where you're just listening. And when you have it turned on, you're actually sending out signals too. Which also gives away your position. Let me turn down the volume really quick. There we go. Okay, so how about I try to fire a torpedo? So, how am I going to target you? I'm going to simply open up my radar mask because I am at the surface. And there we go, he shows up on radar. Now I can select the weapon. This is all auto aim, so you don't have to do anything. If you want to manually shoot, you can equip the torpedoes just like that. Now you have a red line and you can kind of eyeball where the ship is going to go and the distance and everything. I would not recommend this because the homing torpedoes are way better. You have noisemakers, which at the time are not that effective. But these little boys drop behind you and they sink kind of down and they will distract the torpedoes that are coming in. So they would go for that and not for your submarine. Then we have the Mark 70 Moss, which is basically a noisemaker in a torpedo. So you can fire a torpedo. This does not do damage. Keep that in mind. You can fire this anywhere. And you can fire it over there. Let's say, how about you actually shoot a torpedo at me? I'm going to turn on my sonar so I can hear that coming. All right, there we go. You can fire a Moss. Okay, I'm going to fire a Moss in front of you. Yeah, just fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, I fired the moss. Now let's see if the torpedo locks onto the moss. There we go, it changed course. So that is how the distraction works. Now the torpedo is not homing for me anymore, but for the moss. 
So that's super cool. Okay, so there we go. I'm now going to target him and let's say I want to fire a missile at you. I can just also select missile and then it's going to ask me how much missiles do you want to send out. But can you actually try to um, do the, what is it, the chaff? Yes, or uh, if you fire a missile, I'll do chaff. I cannot there. seem to target the missiles. Oh, there we go. I think I had a cooldown. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but the bow opens up very cool. I might make this brighter in the editing. But as you can see, the bow opens up like super cool. And this is because the missiles are ready to fire. I have selected that. So now I'm going to select two missiles to fire at you. I'm going to fire both of them right now. You can already send out the chaff. I'm firing. Oh, there you go. Nope, it's not going for the... Ch oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yes. You see, the missile is distracted by the, the smoke clouds and it explodes right there. So it does not target him anymore, so that's cool. Okay, so what else do we have? We have uh, depth charges, so how about we check that out. I can also drop like noisemakers, but I'm gonna do that later. So let's check out depth charges, shall we? Uh, you can turn on your active sonar. I'm about to dive, so I will be underwater. I'm going to open up the periscope so everyone can see what is going on exactly. Let me lock the ship really quick. So I'm in the same spot. So now I am in stealth mode. And he knows where I am because he has his sonar on. So I can see him coming towards me. Oh god, this is, do I, do <laughs> this is creepy to be honest. Do I just drop him on you? Uh, yeah, go for it. So he is going to drop the depth right. charges. I'm going Time to start to diving. Oh, I think I, oh I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them. Yep, you missed. Oh! This one's about to explode as well. At least I think it is. One of them exploded. Yes, and it wasn't even near me. Oh, yeah, there you go. So it doesn't even have to be near me. And above the water, that has to look very cool, but I cannot see yeah. that, unfortunately. So now I have 86% damage. So keep in mind, the depth yeah, charges do not have to hit you directly. They just have to be in the vicinity of your submarine. And also the drop individual is looking like Mega Stripe of depth charges, which is... Yeah, if you if you click once with the depth charges, mm -hmm. you drop four depth charges. So keep that in mind. It will kind of do like a strafe, which is super cool. I'm now on like fire. If you, <laughs> you want to be sure to hit someone, I would probably suggest going pretty fast, because then you cover a larger area. Yeah, you can you can drop more like over a larger area, yeah. which is very effective. I'm going to try to do an emergency surface because I have not been capable of doing that yet. Now the button got removed from the bottom right, and you have to have a certain amount of damage before you can actually emergency surface. Um, but yeah, that's how... Oh, there we go. Heavy damage, emergency surface. So at 90% damage, you can emergency surface. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And there we have an LA popping out of the water. So that's super cool in my opinion. I love the brand new aspects of the game. So I cannot detect this ship with sonar. However, I can detect him with radar. If I turn out my mast, I can detect... Well, he's in stealth speed right now, but as you can see, I can detect the Villa Moose over there. Oh, there you go. Now he's out of stealth speed and he shows up on my radar. And if he were to go slower again, it would also fade out. Oh, I'm at 99% damage. Oh, yep, yeah, there you see. It just went away. So that is very cool in my opinion. I think this is one of the best updates ever. Oh, there we have another submarine. So you can see the icons as well. There's a icon for a submarine just sailing on the water. That's this one. Then you also have an icon for a submarine. Wait, let me turn on sonar. That is the icon for a submarine which is 
under the water and then you also have a submarine icon which is sinking and that's when it's going through the waterline. With sonar you can also detect uh, incoming torpedoes and incoming mosses. Incoming moss, uh, well distractions but not noisemakers you cannot detect those. You can also detect missiles I think with radar and look at these cool animations. Look at how I'm sinking, this is so nice, I love it. But yeah, how about we move over to the next part of the video. So, we are now in a Krivak, and there's something very special to this vessel, because this one has special depth charges. As you can see, it has RBU 6000, and those are very cool to play with. Let me show you. So, these are for submarines, of course. And what if we look, take a look with our sonar, our active sonar. Oh, and we see there is a submarine under the water right there, but you cannot see it. So how about we say, oh, I have some depth charges, I'm going to sink it. You can just select the depth charges, there you go. And now you can see them aiming up and targeting wherever you target it. So that is super cool. I think these are like the coolest from the update. <laughs> They, they look so nice and they're very effective. Now as you can see I have a circle which I can target with. Red means you cannot fire in this area right now. So let's say I was close to him, I could not fire. But as you can see if I aim right over there, it turns white. So what will happen if I were to shoot this? It would shoot a kind of a missile and once it reaches the point where it goes in the water, it just turns into a depth charge basically. Okay, so we can see that there is a submarine right over there, and we have our RPUs ready and locked and loaded. So let's say I want to fire over there, you can just click that area. It launches three, and there you can see them sinking into the water. Now that's what it looks like from above the water. Now like I said, they're very effective, I don't know how much damage they do exactly. Oh. He just went off radar for a second. So we can fire a second salvo if we wish. We can just fire right over there. One, two, three, four. And you can see them dropping down right here. And they explode when they get near a submarine. And there you go, now you can see that it's sinking. This is the emblem of a sinking submarine. One second, it's gonna pop up again. There you go. Now you can target this again, but that's useless, basically. You can also target the, the submarine with depth charges like this. So you can automatically fire them. Let's say I want to fire two salvos. I can just click fire, firing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there you go. So the automatic uh, aiming system is very nice in my opinion. I think it's a great aspect of the game. You don't have to manually aim anymore. The only thing you need to manually aim now is the guns and the actual depth charges and not the RBU 6000s. So I think these are super cool. They are a very nice aspect and this is how they work. Okay. Okay, so we're going to try out if we can see each other, because there is another submarine out there. Let me click the periscope. There is another submarine out there. I have my radar mast equipped, as you can see. I have my periscope equipped, but I cannot see anything on the surface. However, there is a submarine out there in the waters. We cannot see it, though. So, how can we detect it? Now, right now, we have a passive sonar working, which means... Right now we're listening for anything that's outside of the submarine, so let's say if there's a loud bang or if there's a torpedo being launched like over there, we will hear that and we will be able to detect the person who launched the torpedo or who launched the missile or whatever. However, we also have active sonar and we can detect it just like that by turning on the active sonar. However, if you turn on the active sonar, you are also not in stealth anymore. So, just like right now, we cannot see each other, but if I were to turn on my sonar, I could see the enemy, but he could also see where I sent the sonar pings from. So that's not gonna be a win-win situation whatsoever. 
So how can we actually detect each other? Now let's say if the other submarine sees a ship and it fires a torpedo at it, we will see it because of the passive sonar. So let's see you fire a uh, Mark 17 Moss. If you fire that we should be able to see you. I'm going to wait for him to show up on my sonar, our passive sonar. Oh god. Oh, that's a torpedo being launched so I can see him and I can say oh my god I have to uh, do a counter attack and fire two torpedoes. There we go. One, two and now I show up on radar because I fired torpedoes and there we go. Now we know how this works. We can also turn on active sonar. It's also very effective but of course... oh. And let me try to launch a missile at you, if that's possible. I'm going to start... Oh, there we go. Okay, so if you are too close to the submarine, you can also not fire a missile. So, as you can see, I can select the missile. I'm going to try to dive and stick out my radar, just the radar. So there we go. I am now underwater, he cannot see me, I have my radar on, and he is a submarine on the surface. So I can select my missiles, and then you can see the bow open up just there, super cool. You can see the vertical launch system right there. I can say I want to fire two missiles at him from this depth, and I can say fire, there we go. And the bow closes again. And there you can see it changed the icon to a sinking submarine because we hit him. So now I'm about to surface so you guys can properly see this. And there he is on the surface. So that is very cool. You have to keep in mind if you want to launch a missile from your submarine, you have to be out of the range for the missiles to fire rather. No indirect. Yeah, there okay, we go. No. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's so cool. Okay, so that's very cool. Now we know if there's land in between two boats or two uh, submarines, and we have the sonar on, we cannot see each other. Try turning sonar off. There we go. Also, I think this is the same for radar, because if the ship is behind there, you cannot see it because of the land. Because I had radar equipped the entire time. So that's a very cool aspect. Now because this submarine is filled with anechoic tiles uh, and they absorb the radar from other ships so let's say the Villa Moose over there cannot detect us because we have the tiles on our ship. As you can see there is a few missing already and I think that might also deteriorate your detectability so keep that in mind and he cannot detect us with the radar at the moment however we have the radar and we can detect him so if I lower the mast right there we have my friend he's going to go behind me and you will see that the icon is going to disappear so right now I can see him keep in mind the sonar is on the front on the LA it's in the bow and now he is behind me and as you can see he's fading away I cannot target him anymore now let's wait for him to get back into our sonar range and there we go we can target him again so behind the submarine there is a zone which is a no detection zone keep that in mind Oh, it's just, it scraped past my hull, that was crazy. <laughs> oh my god, you just <laughs> sent that straight to, it hit my nose! <laughs> so this is a Mark 70 oh, Moss, if you guys better. were wondering. <laughs> Mark's <Yeah>. my name. 